Hard Rock 100 is one of the toughest ultra running experiences in the US. Ice cold river crossings, who wouldn't want that, right? This year, the Hard Rock board made a decision to phase out several popular races from its qualifying list. For the women, Michelle Yates proved strong enough to cross the line first in a very competitive women's field. Yates is really making a name for herself in the ultra running community. And with her time of 7.21, Yates took home her own $10,000 payday. Ian quietly went about the business of winning five of his next eight races, earning podium finishes in all eight. We recently had the chance to talk with Ian about his remarkable career and his unlikely start as a professional ultra runner. His 1244-33 finish at a 738 pace still holds as the fastest trail 100 miler in North America. 18-year-old Curtis White took third in his first ever UCI Elite Men's Podium finish. Crystal Anthony's strong start in Saturday's Elite Women's Race earned her the win, with Laura Van Gilder coming in second. It was Van Gilder who took control of Sunday's race from the beginning, holding Anthony to second place with a strong sprint finish. It's been a rocky couple of months on Tommy Caldwell's Donwall project. Caldwell and Jorgensen both climbed the Crux Traverse pitches within a couple of attempts. But the team's luck ran out on November 1st. Caldwell's haul bag came loose and fell 200 feet while clipped to the back of his harness. For Always Forward, I'm Megan Westcombe.